Hey guys, this is Jeff again from MMA Shredded, and this is a guest post for the Muay Thai guy. Hey guys, it's Jeff Chan again from MMA Shredded and in this video, I'm going to be showing you four of my favorite and most effective Muay Thai sweeps. If the video is missing a bit of detail, it's because I don't like making my videos too long. I want my viewers to watch the full video and I don't want them to get bored and stop playing it halfway. So comment below, let me know which sweeps you think are the most effective or which ones are your favorite and I'll be making a detailed tutorial on each sweep. So for the quarter turn sweep, you first need to get one hand on the back of your opponent's neck and one hand on the bicep. Once you have this position, you're at an advantage and before your opponent attacks you, you should remove your palm off his bicep first. From here, you're going to push your opponent backwards. When your opponent resists and moves forward, you're going to step 45 degrees to the left, aka a quarter turn, and you're going to use your rear leg to sweep the foot your opponent uses to balance himself from the quarter turn. The palm on bicep will push to the right and the grip on the neck will tug it down like you're driving a big bus. Here's some real time clinch sparring. You can see that you won't always hit the sweep, but even if you don't score the sweep, it off balances your opponent and opens himself up for a knee strike. But also just because you don't hit it the first time, you don't give up on the sweep. Fake him out with some knee strikes and try again. I'd say a lot of this sweep comes from the upper body and the, the wide twist bus trim. The second sweep I call the Muay Thai dump. I'm going to distract him by throwing a slap knee. When he strikes back, or even if he doesn't, my right hand reaches over and around my opponent's head and cups his left ear. My left hand cups his cups under his right elbow and my right leg steps beside his left knee. I'm going to then push the elbow up and pull down on the ear in a circular motion and buckle his thigh with my right knee, dumping him over my knee. This is a very, very powerful sweep or dump, whatever you want to call it. But make sure that you don't hook his leg with your leg because that's illegal in Muay Thai. The third sweep is called the backbreaker. Again, not really a sweep, but a legal takedown in Muay Thai rules. I'm going to get double underhooks and gable grip with my hands. With the gable grip, I'm going to pull his lower back into my stomach and push my chin into his chest, making him fall backwards. Again, a very basic and effective takedown, and you'll see that in wrestling or MMA, but they'll use or add in the leg hook. But in Muay Thai rules, you can't hook the leg. This partner here also is 190 pounds, and uh, this was the only sweep that worked on him out of the four sweeps. I tried all the other sweeps, but I was unable to move him because he's so heavy and strong and he has a good base. <laughs> The fourth sweep is my favorite. It's very unexpected and it's a counter to the backbreaker. When your opponent gets the double underhooks and attempts to execute the backbreaker, you're going to post your hands on his hips to resist and shoot your rear end back. 
Don't resist so hard that he gives up on the backbreaker. Instead, use a little resistance, and as he drives forward to complete the takedown, digging his chin into your chest, you're going to use your left hand to push his hip, his right hip forward, and use your right hand to pull back on his neck and thrust your hips forward, arcing your back for more power. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please comment below, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my mailing list in the link below for exclusive content.